Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Norwood Invitational is about to get underway. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured Bruce. Hey Luke, so great to be here with you and Rich. Looking forward to following this group down on the course today because this player has developed a rivalry with none other than Tiger Woods. They certainly do not lack in confidence. This is going to be a very entertaining group to follow. Well, Henny, quite a challenge that this player has set for themselves. We've seen them beat many of their rivals this season, but there are not many people that can go up against the great Tiger Woods and succeed. History's told us that. Oh, well, they certainly do not lack in confidence. This is going to be a very entertaining group to follow indeed. I'm jumping around in my seat and I can also see Rich Beam doing exactly the same. He managed this feat back in 2002 when he won the PGA at Hazeltine over the great Tiger Woods. Oh, please, Luke, don't mention that. Once we get Rich on his high horse, there's no getting him down again. Although he has shown that it can be done. Tiger Woods can be beaten. However, it is such a tall order. I know that this player has beaten all of these incredible roster of players in all these rivalries so far, but come on, this is Tiger Woods. Can it really be done today? Well, that's the question we're going to get answered, aren't we? Very few people have ever laid claim to beating Tiger head-to-head. -head. Good luck in your rivalry. You're going to need it. Yeah, that one's looking good. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Why don't we catch up with our man in the hot seat, Tiger Woods? He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. They've chosen to club down here. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. A par putter waits. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And it's New Zealand's Lydia Ko who leads here as we head to the next. Teeing off now on this par three. That's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. This really looks good. The old fashioned hammer hands. That'll ruin any putter's stats. They're yeah, nicely hold. Now heading over to Tiger Woods. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Lydia Ko is currently on top spot as we pause for a look at the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the fourth. That's some good golf right there.
Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Luke, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. Ooh. Well, I don't mind this par putt. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now, three strokes back after that hole. The par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Yeah, nicely played. This putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Oh, so close. Just a short putt remaining here. Why don't we catch up with what Tiger Woods is up to? He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. That's tidy. Rich, obviously, and we've joked about it a fair bit in this game, that you've been one of the rare players to take Tiger Woods down in his prime. But what was it like to play in the Tiger era and just how dominant he was? It was simply amazing. You knew that each and every week that he showed up to a tournament, you better have your game ready to go because you assumed that he was going to be firing at all cylinders. Because even when he wasn't, his game was still good enough to beat most everybody in those fields. You wanted him there because you always want to test yourself against the best. However, it, it, if you weren't playing very well, you're kind of fearful teeing it up because you just knew that your best at that moment in time wasn't nearly going to be good enough to beat Tiger no matter what he brought to the table. He made each and every player look at their game in a different way and try and dissect it in order to weed out anything that didn't really need to be worked on and got them more specific in the areas that they weren't good at. They're deficient areas, whether it's the short game, the driver, the iron play, whatever it is. But Tiger really made you take a long, hard look at your game and figure out where it's at because you knew that you had to be at your best to beat him. Well, there's the line, the green side bunker. Can they get this one up and down? And back to the course with the live action. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. They're staring this down for Eagle. Rolling end to end, this looking nice. And that's a masterstroke. It not only improves their position in the field, but they're now ahead of their rival.